please welcome to the stage the wonderful Kiri Pritchard McClure! <laughs> My name is Kiri Pritchard McLean. I've come all the way from Wales to do this gig. <laughs> that was patronising. <laughs> but I shall take it. Yeah, I've moved back to Wales. That's where I'm from. In fact, I'm doing so well, I got asked back to my old high school the other day. <laughs> A lot of you are as disinterested as they were. <laughs> yeah, I got asked back so I could hand out some certificates. And at first I was like, why are they asking me? And then I remembered everyone else is dead or sad. <laughs> And as soon as I walked into the assembly hall, I was hit by this memory, and it was a memory of when we had to learn about contraception, right? And they brought us into the assembly hall, and it was the lesson where they teach you how to put a johnny on, a banana or a cucumber. <laughs> but in my school, they didn't use a banana or a cucumber. They used what I can only describe as a massive, veiny dildo. <laughs> Huge it was. I still remember the noise it made as she put it on the table. It was like... Poof! <laughs> Terrifying. Do you know what, as well? This is what's weird about it. it. had a bit of movement to it. That's not normal, is it? Like, there's things outside car washes. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen a cock buffet in a breeze, but... it's really quite something. Now, our form class, this is a rough school we're in, right? But our form class, we're about 13, 14 years of age, and I now know, looking back, we were all virgins, right? Terrified. But we didn't know that at the time. Because in my school, it was a very rough school, being a virgin is one of the worst things that you could be. I remember being 12 years old, and one of the older kids said to me, are you a virgin, yeah? And I panicked and went, no, I've been fucked in every hole. Like, that's normal! <laughs> Call the police! What's going on at home? <laughs> so we're all freaking out, all scared. And I, I just remember us sat around in a circle around this obelisk. <laughs> as it casts a shadow over our faces. <laughs> now, I'm going to be quite heteronormative here, because that is also the age that I was raised in, right? So we're all sat around it, and the girls are looking at it like... <laughs> Not even if I took a run-up. <laughs> and the lads... How do you think those lads were feeling? 13-year-old <laughs> boys. Can you think of an age where you're more insecure about the size of your penis than a 13-year-old boy. <laughs> They've gone full wobbly chin. They're like... <laughs> <laughs> Mine doesn't look like that. <laughs> of course it doesn't, babe. That's a prop from Tremors. It won't. <laughs> My God, it was awful. It was so, so tense. And I start freaking out, cos I got bullied quite a lot in secondary school. <laughs> Obviously, why else would I be here, right? <laughs> and so I thought, oh, no, I'm going to get bullied. This is another thing I'm going to get bullied for. They're going to find out I'm a virgin. I'm going to get bullied for that. So I was like, why? I came up with a little plan in my 14-year-old head. And you know what? I'm not going to get bullied for being a virgin, cos no-one's going to tell that I'm a virgin, because I'm going to ask to go first. Well, I wish you were there at the time. <laughs> so, the teacher goes, right then, who wants to go first? I was like, I'll go first, miss, and I snatch the condom from my hand. I keep playing it over and over in my head. And I keep thinking, hold on, why didn't we have a banana or a cucumber? Why do we have a massive veiny dildo? Because every other school in the county had a banana or a cucumber. We're the only school that had a massive any dildo. And the only thing that I can think is we were the roughest school in the area. And I think they thought, you know what? It's going to take longer to explain to these kids what fruit and veg is. <laughs> Give them a big veiny dildo. They might be book smart on that. They've clearly got a rough auntie who does snide on summer's parties, haven't they? <laughs> Sharon's here with the click destroyers. So I was like, right, it's my turn to do it. So I snatched this condom. Now, the first thing I did, right, not knowing what I was doing, the first thing I did is rip it open with my teeth. <laughs> like a pirate with a coin. Ha ha! <laughs> Panicking, don't know what I'm doing. So I put the Johnny in this hand, right? I know I've got to get it on the end of that, but I don't know how. So I just panic and just grab it and like crocodile dundee it to the ground. <laughs> wrestling it. I whack it on over the top and then I, that's it. That's as far as my knowledge goes. So I just start panicking and going at it like it's close hand magic, right? <laughs> just keep me... Just burn rubber. I've seen a pit crew. Just go for it, right? <laughs> I flap in my hand.
stands everywhere thinking this is the most confident thing anyone's ever seen, right? <laughs> and very naturally it starts rolling down. So it's like, brilliant, starts rolling, starts rolling, starts rolling. And I'm rolling it down. I probably get about two, three inches down just over the tip. <laughs> well done, well done. And I feel a tap on my shoulder, right? And it's the woman running the course and she went, Kitty, I am going to stop you there just because you are scaring all the boys. <laughs> Absolutely true. I look up at the 15 lads in my form class, sheet white there. <laughs> up until that exact moment, they had been dying to lose their virginity. And now they're like, I don't want to do it. I'm going to get my willy ripped off. I felt so guilty about this for years and years, to the point where last Christmas I got absolutely hammered and I looked up all the boys in my form class on Facebook <laughs> to see what they're doing now. Guys, it's absolutely fine. They're all gay. <laughs> yeah, which is my preferred scenario for every man I meet, so there we go. <laughs> you have been so, so lovely. Thank you so much for having me. Cheers! Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful Kiri Pritchard-McLean!